In the year 2351, the advent discovery of teleportation revolutionizes transportation within the solar system. Despite its inherent flaws and egregious energy demands, this control tearing of space-time leads to the colonization of a terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our own. Moved by the deep red hues of its dwarf star, the people named their new home Centaurus after the constellation within which it resides. Infrastructure is established between the people of Sol and the determined Centauri. An era of peaceful and prosperous existence for humanity begins. Yet, it would not last for long. Countless drones are dispatched to explore the vast expanse beyond. But the fundamental nature of teleportation results in a destination that is deeply drawn toward gravity wells such as planets, stars, and black holes. Despite all efforts, none return. Dreams of exploring deep space are thwarted by a lack of progress, and the project is eventually shut down. However, on an unlikely winter day, years after its departure, a single dusty drone returns. Hailing from a region beyond the galaxy core, the recovery of this unlikely traveler surmounts to nothing less than a miracle, leading to the discovery of Balterus, a seemingly barren planet scorched in the blinding light of its host star. With the teleportation link stable, expeditions are mounted, and mankind, at the cusp of making first contact, explores the sandy wastes. As the curious adventurers saw it, a discovery is indeed made but not one they had expected. Deep inclusions within seemingly benign crystals of silica glisten in the star's brilliant light, casting a vivid sapphire hue which ensnares their curious eyes. This element would come to be known as Balterium, and is soon lauded as the greatest finding in human history. Samples are taken, experiments are made, and the material achieves the impossible multiplying input energy by several orders of magnitude without a significant loss in mass, as well as manipulating the matter around it in ways that remain poorly understood. It does not take long for extensive mining to begin, but Balters had one more revelation to unveil. From the amber hues of the vast dunes, a plethora of crab-like creatures emerge, unimpressed by the colossal machines reaping the soils of their home. They attack with ferocious powers, cutting down at the shore, forcing the reinstatement and deployment of a vast military arm. With the creatures at bay, the Valterium spoils are enjoyed by the overindulged populace of Sol, with little trickling through to the proud Centauri. Despite the greatest of political efforts, appeals fall on deaf ears, precipitating the inception of their own mining enterprise, laying the foundations for conflict. As mining intensifies and relations wither, humanity is once more cast down the path of war. Within a year, the bloodshed begins. <laughs>